Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today we have a wonderful MX Art Design Team Hall. Now why is it so wonderful? It's because of the size of the dies. If you're someone who wants to do paper piecing or loves doing it anyway, you're going to love these because these have been made just the right size. So first off I'm going to go in with some layering pumpkin style dies. Now these can be used as a shaker just as a background or you can punch little holes down the side there and they can be a mini album or you can connect the um, what do they call that bit the stem and you can have an open out card. You can do uh, placemats or um, the table names anything you want to do five and a half inches wide cut line to cut line and the height five inches that's the first one great size next up this one might not seem so large but to me it is and it's a gorgeous little sort of like Kaiwa voodoo skeleton and I just think it's absolutely wonderful look it's got stars in its eyes really looking forward to doing this one and once again you could create this as a shaker three and a half inches then we're going with an awesome Halloween cat now I'm not a hundred percent sure what that bit is there I'm gonna have to go to the website and find out but whatever it is it looks as if the cat was grabbing it and it's squished out of uh, its little paws there three and three quarter inches and two and a half inches and then check out this if you know somebody that likes funny spiders just look at how big that is some of these pieces are big enough to make your halloween wreaths with that spider is four inches wide and standing high just as the spider is two and a quarter but the hat would go on top that makes it a fabulous piece if you like to do your craft fairs and things like that these would make awesome bag toppers as well and then you've got another wacky spider look at his little hairy legs isn't that cool <laughs> of course if you don't like spiders then you're not going to like it but i do not necessarily to play with but you know what i mean they don't scare me that's four inches by three and a half inches and then we start getting into pumpkins and I'm trying to sift through the pumpkins that she sent. I've got a big pile here and uh, I'll probably end up going back to pumpkins again right at the very end. But let me start with this one. Look at that. If you want to make a quick and easy Halloween card, I don't think it gets easier than the size of that. I'm pretty sure that that's either a little ghost or a little owl or something sticking out. Once again, I've got to go back to the website, but that pumpkin just on its own, three and a quarter wide and two and a half high. And you've got the, um, I think it's an owl. You've got those bits that go there. I just think that's gorgeous. Look at the size of it. Put my hand on it. So as I was saying, you know, if you want to do some paper piecing, these are perfect. And then I've got a set of pumpkins here with different expressions where it's got its mouth wide open and it's got that sort of like crinkly smile. And then you've got a more serious one. But they've all got these little curly top leaves that go on top. And then I've got a couple of bats. Look at those. I mean, you can see the size of them in my hands. That's probably four inches across. That one obviously smaller, maybe three inches across. And then this one is a little boy who's dressed up as a Halloween spider. And you've got all the little legs that will attach onto its costume, I do believe. And you've got the little eyes there that will go on the top of his hood. That's just so cool. That's one that has to be made before I can measure it. And then look at that another big Halloween bat so you can make little ornaments as I said and bag toppers and all sorts and I just think this is absolutely awesome it's a Halloween candle that looks like Frankenstein to me and on the website it's in bright luminous uh, lime green 
but there's your candle there's the drip that layers on the top and there's the flame super easy nice big pieces and I'm going to measure the actual candle size and that is three and a half inches and then wide it is two and three quarter inches so you've got a nice sort of Frankenstein-y looking candle and then I've got another little wacky bat I mean you could just do that if you can put a loop in them and just hang them as tags or as I said a little ornament on a Halloween tree I like to um, get the dried out branches and just spray them black and put them in a pot of pebbles and hang all sorts of stuff on them for uh, Halloween and then there is a trick or treat and what you've got there I believe that is like a gravestone where you'd pop your little pumpkins around and then I'm not sure what that is it might be a spider or something coming off it and then you've got a witch's hat which I think sits on top of the edge there of the gravestone another cute one that has to be made and this one is my absolute favorite it's a voodoo doll look at the size of that you've got the bow in her hair and you've got the little stitched buttons and patches that become the eyes that's just awesome I just love stuff like this my husband would love this hanging from his truck mirror that is almost four inches high and the widest part there going along to the hands two and a half inches just wonderful and then I've got two sets of pumpkins which are cute and different expressions so you can see the expressions on those these are perfect for running the length of a slimline card I'm going to measure this set different expressions again that one's got the little cross eyes and there's five in a set with these and you've got the little um, layering piece that covers the stalk of the pumpkin and they're all roughly the same size so they're two inches so three of those down on a card with a little bit of space in between and uh, you've got a great Halloween card and I'm trying to sift out the Christmas from the Halloween so that I'm not getting all mixed up here this one is one all on its own and it's a little silhouette of a music band and you've got those little matchstick men there you've got the I think it's a trumpet a saxophone you've got the microphone the drums you've got the big bass and the drum and I haven't got a clue what those are it might be cymbals but that's a really cute one and more Halloween and I've got a little gingerbread girl and she's got her own little witchy hat and she's coming out of a pumpkin there so there's another one and you've got a great little autumn leaf as well or a pumpkin leaf and then you've got a wacky looking cat that's popping out of its own little pumpkin bucket there and it's got little fangs on the bucket I just love these details sifting through my Christmas here we have the Grim Reaper now I know that I don't need to make this one because I did make this last year um, and you'll probably see that image on MX Art site so this is one that I'll just put aside and it will go into the competition bag but that's a Grim Reaper and it is a lovely one so as I say you'll be able to see the card on the MX Art site and then we've got a cat who's put a load of scratches by the look of it into the pumpkin they probably lay on top but you've got the cat's tail and uh, it just looks very very naughty there and you know once again you can see the size of these pieces we've got a cute little kitty cat who's resting on top of a pumpkin you've got the separate face pieces there to cut in whatever color you want to lay into the embossed areas you've got the cat's eyes a really simple one to make and you've even got a shadow piece there to place inside of the cat's ear this one is hilarious so that <laughs> that's a bat <laughs> I just think that's so funny and he's a whole piece so I'm just going to go across and he's four inches and then the height of him going down to his bottom there is almost two and a half inches 
and then we've got a threesome set of pumpkins that are cutting out different designs that's quite a jagged design I can't really work out what that one is that's a face and then you've got a cobweb that cuts out of that pumpkin and then we've got a cute little pumpkin girl and she's got a little pumpkin handbag and she, I think that's her hair with her bows behind so that's going to be a cute one to make that almost looks like an elephant doesn't it but you turn it over there it's the top of the pumpkin that I believe is her hat because it looks like it fits into that piece and then we have what looks like Frankenstein that looks like Frankenstein to me so that's going to be a cute one to make and he's got his little top piece there for his head so that's another sweet one and he's also got a little sort of Frankenstein type Halloween bucket that he's hanging on to and then we have a little girl and she's got her what do you call that there's a name for that there's a three prong thing you know a fork but it has a name somebody tell me below <laughs> but she's Halloweeny, and I've got the feeling she's going to be all dressed in red because she's a little a little red devil but I can't think of the name of that is it trot what is, what's the name of it Aquaman carries one doesn't he so try something or other oh yeah it's one of those <laughs> and then a cute little ghost just sitting there and he's got his little pumpkin and then he's got his embossed trick or treat to pop onto the front of his little pumpkin where he's collecting his candy and that looks like it's a little bat toy that he might be held in there and that's a lollipop because you've got a lollipop stick so that's another cute one and then we're getting back into very large pumpkins again and there's two that probably belong to the set that I've done down here you've got the swirly twirlies on top and the leaves just great expressions and this one is I think a little vampire girl no she's a witch yeah she's got the little witchy nose and her hands and she's got the witch's hat and the witch's hair so that's going to be a really cute one to make as well and you don't have to do these in dark colors you can do them like pink and purple looks awesome at Halloween so now we're getting into Christmas and as I said awesome big pieces and I think this one is the smallest one and that is a lace sort of paper cut style Christmas tree I like to cut things like this out and just do them in white cardstock and put a ribbon in and just use them as extra accents hanging on my Christmas tree and I did that with uh, one of the MX Arts Angels last year so a measure of that one and it is four inches and then at its widest point to nearly two and a half inches so that's a Christmas tree and then we've got a bear in a Santa hat and you've got the embossed edge there because that hat goes off at a jaunty angle but look at how big that is I'm going to measure that one made up Christmas stuff is going to be next week and then we've got a gorgeous little snowman he's got a great big hat for his head and he's got a cute little scarf mittens and up here you've got the fluffy little pom-pom and then we have a little girl who's all dressed up for the winter and she's got a little elf hat little elf costume here with a little collar and I think that collar cuts out separately as well and there's the little piece of spiral candy cane really really sweet and what else do we have we have a reindeer who's popping his head from the side there so that's going to be a really cool one to do on a slimline card I think that bow either goes around his neck or is tied onto one of his antlers but that's just really really sweet you can just see how cute he's going to be you've got the separate nose pieces separate eye pieces separate pupils so you can just color coordinate and just cut in whatever card stock that you want 
And then we have one similar to the reindeer, and that is the snowman peeking out from the side of a card. And that's really cute as well. Got a stripy hat, stripy scarf, and a lovely little carrot nose. Right, and then we get into the three, which I think are going to interest people a lot. And that is Christmas gnomes. And check out the size. Awesome, awesome size for paper piecing. Got the little mittens. You can see the embossed area there. You've got the little facial expression, which will pop onto here, cut in a different colour cardstock. Then you've got the nose. You've got the heart, which will go into its hands here. And then the gloves get placed over the top. And then you've got that wonderful gnome stripy hat. And then the next gnome, exactly the same thing, huge, easy to handle, holding a gift, this one, and it's got a little spotty hat. And then the next gnome, he's holding, I think, letters, same kind of expression, but just a very simple hat if you don't like to, you know, sort of like, paper piece stripes or dots or anything that one's just got a plain simple hat and I don't think that is a letter that's the section that goes in here he's holding a Christmas lantern but absolutely awesome and as I said I'm going to be doing Christmas MX art all next week and I'm going to be doing up until Friday as much of the Halloween that I can so if you come back tomorrow it's going to be Halloween Friday is going to be Halloween and um, if I well depending on my uh, <laughs> my work ethic and my speed um, if I can make even more Halloween I'll squeeze a few in on Monday alongside the Christmas okay I do thank you for watching I appreciate each and every single one of you right have a fabulous day as usual. All links below. Bye.